Welcome to LawRuler. We're glad that you're here. In this tutorial, we're going to review over how to import and update new leads or existing leads inside of LawRuler. This functionality is really useful as it allows you to import new leads in mass as well as make updates to those leads and their custom information inside of the system. The first step to importing new leads inside of the system is to prepare your import spreadsheet. Notice I have contact information. I also have the marketing source, the status, the type of case. And then finally, I also have some custom questions which I want to use to fill out inside of the intake form inside of LawRuler. Once we have our import spreadsheet prepared, we're going to log into LawRuler. We're going to navigate to the setup menu. And from there, we're going to navigate to our import wizard, and that's going to allow us to import these new leads in mass inside of the system. Once we have the import wizard open, the first thing we're going to do is choose our data file. So I have a lead import set up right here that we looked at earlier. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click continue. So from here, I'm going to choose my import type. It's going to be leads or intakes. I'm going to choose the skip functionality because we have no duplicates inside the system. If we have any saved field mapping, we can select that, but we're actually going to do all of our mapping right now. So from here we can click continue and now we're going to actually be mapping all of our different data into the different fields inside of LawRuler. So first thing we'll do is we'll go through the various fields and it's pretty straightforward. We have last name field and keep in mind the cell phone should generally be used as the primary phone field inside of LawRuler. We also have a source, a status, and some of these fields are going to be required in order to create a new lead inside of the system. And we have a type of case. So marketing source, status, and type of case are all required fields in order to create a new intake. We have a mailing address 1, we have our mailing address 2, and we have our state field. Actually, let's do our city field. Rather, that's going to be the state city, zip, this is going to be our primary email, and then from here we have some custom questions inside of the system that we want to import our leads so that the answers to these questions fill out those questions on our intake questionnaire or any custom fields inside the system. So I'm just going to do a quick search and I can look for that right here and I have custom question one I have my custom question 2, my custom question 3, and finally my custom question 4. Perfect, so now whatever answers are in these fields, when I import this information into the system, it's going to automatically populate those fields. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this field mapping and I'm going to call this our demo lead import. And this is really useful because if we ever do another import and it's going to be the same fields, we can always reuse this field mapping at a later date. So we'll click continue. And the system is going to tell us how many rows we're going to import. And it, we can choose any email address that we want to send an email to when the process is complete. I'm going to click import now. And now that I see the screen, the import is running and I'm going to receive a notification as soon as that is complete. So now that my import was complete, I could see that we created a bunch of new leads directly inside of the system, and it has all the information that we had mapped on our spreadsheet. So we have the name, phone number, the source, the status, and the type of case are all required. And then I can go into one of these leads, and I can navigate to the intake form, or any of my custom fields, and there I can see the answers that I had on my spreadsheet, have all populated these different fields inside of the system. So now if any of the contact information or custom questions that we imported ever change, we can use a very similar process using our import module to actually update this information inside of the system. So now whenever we want to update information inside of LawRuler with any of our leads, we can go to the setup and we can navigate to our import wizard. That's going to open up our import tool. And now we can choose our update file, which might have some different lead information. So we'll select that and click continue. And now from here, rather than choosing the skip option, we're actually going to choose update so that we can update the information in the system. And I can actually use my save field mapping that I selected earlier. 
and this is going to make this job a lot easier. I can click continue and now notice that all the field mapping that I selected earlier is all still in place and so all I have to do right now is click continue and that's going to now allow me to update all of those leads in mass. So I'm going to click import now and now the import is running and as soon as it's done I'll be notified via email and I can go into those leads and see that they've been successfully updated. So now I can navigate back to the inbox and I can go back to my lead and I'm just going to take a look at the some of those custom questions that we had and so I can see that all the answers that I had previously have all been changed and this lead has been successfully updated inside of the system. If any contact information was also updated using my lead import, I can always verify that by going to the contact card and seeing if any of that information has changed as well. As always, thank you for choosing LawRuler. If you have any support questions, we are here to help. You're welcome to contact us via email at support at lawruler.com and you can also access our online support form located at support.lawruler.com. If you ever need done for you consulting, it is billed hourly and available for you, so please inquire whenever you need our expert team to do something on your behalf.